Oh, munching. Oh, look at them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Even the bluegill oh ran over the minnow. Oh, Ooh. the bass nailed them. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, it's time to do a little check in on Houston's pool pond. And we've got something down there I've never even heard of. And I didn't tell Houston about it. We haven't opened the box yet, but. Uh, Houston's little bass go through a lot of food. So we've been trying to feed them live bait. So there's a few goldfish in there still. Pretty much everything. The big bluegill, he's still down here hanging out. And what, three oh, here's, bass? There's one right here. Is there one right there? Yeah. So Houston and I went the other day to the bait shop on about five dozen minnows. And it took about a week and they were all gone. Like four days. These fish ate five dozen minnows in four days literally so going to the bait shop to feed these is going to get expensive in a hurry so i started doing some research and i had no clue that you could buy minnows on amazon did you houston <laughs> no so we're going to tear into this box because hey i bought one thousand one thousand one thousand minnows and they shipped oh, them directly to our house that's going to be it's going to take at least two weeks, probably. Man, I hope so. So I haven't opened the box yet. This is something totally new. I've never done this before. Now, we watch a channel every once in a while called Bama Bass. He's building this huge pond right now, but he's got a backyard fish pond. And I know he's ordered fish online, ordered bait fish online. So uh, he's had success with it. So it can be done, obviously. So let's... Uh, Cut into this. Hey, should that be doing it? It's my box. I don't want you cutting into the bags. Let me handle that, okay? So I it, just throw this out there. I'll leave a link in the description box to Amazon if you're looking for minnows. I will say this: the more you buy, the cheaper they get. That's why I bought a thousand. So the shipping is obviously what's gonna cost you the most money, probably. So if you buy like 250 minnows they're like 26 27 cents a piece but if you buy a thousand it drops them down to like 11 cents a piece oh. and buying minnows at the bait store like the last time the three dozen we bought no it's five dozen or five dozen i mean it was three dollars and fifty cents per dozen so those minnows would get expensive in a hurry so let's get these guys out and see how they're doing see how what our survival rate's been we're just gonna, I'm assuming these are in bags. So we're gonna set the bags in the water, let them acclimate a little bit. Cause these guys just came off a UPS truck. Hey, you said it was just bags. Well, there's a little styrofoam cooler in there to keep them comfortable. Oh, oh looky there. Are those goldfish? No, they're not goldfish. Well, they're orange though, right? There's a couple of dead ones. Yeah, I expect there to be some dead ones. Yeah. Let me get this bag out. It's double bagged up. We're just gonna take the whole bag right now and we're just gonna set it in there. I do see some dead ones, but that's to be expected. I mean, There's if we bought a thousand and there was 20 or 30 dead ones, that's a pretty good success rate to me. Yeah. So these are uh, technically called rosy reds. You can buy several different kinds online, but uh, they're pretty small. I bought the small ones because we do have the bluegill and small bass you could buy up to like i think inch and a half i think they had one category that was one and a half to two inches and i bought like the one to one and a half inch long minnows oh, look up earl sand. what are you doing to our pond buddy you are one filthy little dog you know that we just had you in the car so uh you think we should hand feed a few of these to the bass before we drop them all in there we can try yeah we can try they haven't eaten they haven't had a good meal in a couple days i've been giving them fish food i put a few earthworms in there this morning from Wait, your worm farm yeah mm -hmm. you were you were still asleep and uh did, did they go on oh they came and hammered them look at that bass he's sneaking up on the yeah. bag yeah. he can see them he's definitely so i brought the hungry. gopro we'll put the gopro underwater and try to film turning a few minnows loose before we turn a thousand of them loose okay yeah. so before y'all start saying why is the water all down you know we said that there is probably a small leak and there is but it's not bad 
No, where's no. It, there may be just a very small leak. We probably lose a half inch of water every day or two. A lot of that's probably evaporation though. Yeah. All right, Houston, I put the GoPro under there. We've let our fish acclimate for a little while. Why don't you bring that bag over here and we'll kind of open it up and maybe just toss a few, a few of the less lively ones in to see if we can get the bass to come eat it. Let's see. Let's see them. Look at those little rosy red minnows. All right. Oh. Don't be dropping our minnows, Houston. Uh -huh. All right. Just drop them down here by the GoPro. Oh, well, not right next to the bag, buddy. Put them straight up. Oh, oh, munching. Oh, look at them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Even the bluegill oh, ran over with the minnow. Oh, oh, the bass nailed them. Yeah. Those bass are oh, hungry, aren't they? Yes, they are. Hey, you got you a few more? I got one right here. Put them out there in front of the GoPro. Oh, he snatched that thing. Keep it up above the water. Oh, you're going to fill the bag. Oh my gosh. Well, they don't last two seconds, do they? No. Them bass are hungry. Oh my gosh. a handful of them I'm pretty sure the goldfish are going after them they might oh that bass is going to get one oh. Oh. got him all right let's just dump the whole bag out hang on let me grab that GoPro one out. okay all right dump them out Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. We got so many more fish in here. Well, Houston? Yeah. There was uh there, there's quite a few there's quite a few dead ones down there. Not a ton, but probably more than what I would like to have seen. However, guess what? What? You got two little bullhead catfish in there. Oh, yeah. And I bet you they stuff themselves completely full tonight. And uh, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. We may have to, we may want to get some of those dead ones out if they're still there tomorrow morning. But yeah, they're definitely these bass, not eat out of your hand hey, now. these bass are going to be stuffed. There are so cute. many little minnows swimming around here right now. They are going to be huge probably the next week or so probably oh look big the big uh bluegill. the big bluegills munching down there i saw him sucking one in probably won't be able to get him video of him eating but so many ripples in the water well there's what a thousand live minnows looks like those were called um, what I call them red um, ro rose rose ruby red. ruby red or rosy reds rosy reds or something I don't know right. anyways they came from Amazon there's several different varieties that you could buy and uh, that will definitely help us feed these bass yes for probably quite a while I don't know how long a thousand of them will last but I did some research on how much do bass eat and one of the articles I read said that a uh, 
a growing bass that's not fully mature yet can eat up to one third of its body weight a day. One third? Now, I don't know if I believe that. Maybe it's true, it, I don't know. But if it is, a thousand minnows isn't gonna last those three bass very long. Plus, we've got a giant bluegill. And, and the small bluegill were eating minnows too, so. Yeah, and we have two bullheads about this big. Yep, so it's gonna take a lot to uh, feed these things. And I don't just wanna put pellets in there and not feed them anything that's natural to them. So, but adding in minnows and crawdads and all kinds of stuff that we catch out of the creek will help out and we don't have anywhere that like bluegill would really be able to spawn in here yet but maybe we can get some structure put in and have a place where maybe get lucky and have some bluegill spawn and it actually helped feed itself maybe we could even get some tilapia sounds like we're getting some got a little bit thunder. of thunder didn't we yeah <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit for the night we'll come back and check it in the morning and uh, i'm really surprised because when we turn those those minnows loose the first time houston mm -hmm they all stayed schooled up there was only five dozen but they moved all together these minnows no they're scattered everywhere So we're up bright and early this morning. It's about uh, seven o'clock and uh, we were gonna get up and check on the, the pool pond. We will take you and show you the minnow situation and what it looks like and how many survived. But first, we caught another pig. Our Jaeger Pro hog trap is doing some good lately. We got, it looks like another boar hog. Josh is on his way over, the guy that runs the trap for us. He's gonna load this one up and uh, take it back to that that uh, hunting ranch is my guess is probably what they'll do with it. But anyways, I'm waiting on him to get here and then we're gonna load this guy up. And he wants to jump. He does. <laughs> He's leaning up to oh. do it. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then he just jumps straight out. That would suck. But he did jump pretty high. So I've explained it before, but uh, I know not everybody sees every video, but so Josh actually does that for a living. That's what, I mean, he traps hogs for a living. Look at this. Houston, what do you got there? A pumpkin from last year growing. <laughs> a volunteer <laughs> pumpkin yeah. on our, our patio. We carved a pumpkin right here and one's growing, huh? Yeah. So Josh is a, a dealer or sub dealer for Jaeger Pro Traps but he's got several of those spread around ranches all over our area, two or three counties. And uh, he traps those and has a contract 
with a, a hunting ranch that that buys them from him so he actually makes a little bit of profit off of them they do go out to a high fence hunting ranch so in oklahoma it is against the law to transport live feral hogs unless you have a permit so josh has a permit through the oklahoma wildlife department and uh, basically a deal with the state that says hey here's what i do here's where they're going they want to know about these things because they're super invasive they tear up everything they're destructive they're not a native species they're bad for the local habitat so josh uses that to make a profit i know it sounds bad but uh, he sells those hogs and people get to come in and hunt them and uh, either shoot them have a trophy for some of those big nasty ugly boar hogs that stink and you do not want to eat or some of the smaller ones they can come in shoot three or four small pigs and uh, fill their freezer but uh Dad. anyways Dad. Look, remember when there was a whole bunch of dead ones over here? Yeah. There, there's not as many. Well, I told you the catfish would come yeah. out at night and eat them. There's a few dead floaters on the surface, and they've schooled up, so all of our minnows are Marshall. hanging out together. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little bitty guy, wasn't it? Yeah, look at the head. That's what I was talking about. Yep. Hey, why don't you go get your, uh, your little red slider and put in here? We've got a rock pile that he can get out of the water and get up on and uh he'll eat some of those some of those dead minnows put that right there okay go get your slider got your little turtle yeah oh where'd he go there he is oh the bluegill got scared So there you have it, 1,000 live minnows off of Amazon put in Houston's little pool pond back here. It's doing fantastically. We're going to leave his little turtle in there. He's got a spot he can get up on a rock and get out of the water. We'll see how he does. But uh, there's probably, I don't know, 30 or so dead minnows on the bottom. And uh, I bet the catfish ate a bunch last night. Those little, those little bullhead catfish are kind of the scavengers of the tank but the uh we'll, we'll probably have to come in in a you know later today and try to get as many of those little dead ones out as we can so we don't nasty the water up but uh the pool pond's doing great as far as i'm concerned yay and soon we're gonna build a turtle pen he already has one yeah keaton built a, a turtle enclosure under their pool deck huh yeah well maybe that's the next project but pool pond for now you can see that's all we can do at the moment huh? you, you want to wrap this video up for us yeah so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and as always we'll see you on the next video peace